Hey guys, this is Rakesh here and from my university, a free open online university for students and for professionals. Guys, I'm working on a playlist for Spark Streaming and I hope you had watched the previous videos in which I had explained most of the things in which I had explained the window operations, transformations and other stuff. So in this video, I'll wrap wrap the things up and uh, I probably will discuss uh, things like what are the output operations which we can perform and you know the thing is as you have seen that uh, uh, the videos in which we had performed some output operations like print and other stuff what I'll do is I'll just remove this print I'll save it and let me run this example right and let's see what will happen uh, in the end so it will take some minute I'll be back with the output. Bye. So guys, the output is here. <laughs> the output shows no output now, no output operation registered. So guys, there's always, you know, whenever we are actually creating the uh, Spark stream, whenever we are streaming the data, we need to have an output operation to the same. Like over here, we had print. Like here we had a print right and there are a few others as well one of them is like save as text file so you can actually save the whole content in a text file you can save the same in any any anywhere you can you can save it in uh, uh, sdfs you can save it in uh, anywhere any file format as the other stuff you can save it as object file you can save it as save as hadoop file yeah and there's another transformation as which is called as for each so the for each we had seen that there is there's not much difference between map and for each, you know, but for each actually iterates, it doesn't uh, gives you back certain things. Same as that of transform, we have an for each which actually gives you an iterator as well. But most of the for each have been used whenever we want to uh, output operation to the particular RDD. Suppose I have an RDD, I don't want these particular operation, but there is something else operation in which I want to have a connection with the outer world. So I'll use for each RDD. Getting it, guys? So uh, the pattern how to use for each RDD is similar to that of transform. We create connection and other stuff. So I'll not go in detail in <coughs> sorry in in these things. Uh, you can with the help of for each what you can do is you can have a data frame as well you can create a data frame what you can do is for each RDD you can register the RDD to uh, our data frame and then you can uh, you know register it as table and then you can use it if you are not aware of what data frame is kindly visit to the channel and see for data frames and you'll be able to see spark SQL data frames so that is also one of the thing you can do machine learning algorithms which are actually be required you know these a uh, streaming context to be there in machine learning algorithms i already had explained what checkpointing is but in detail it has been given over here uh, how we can have a checkpointing you know and what is the best way to configure checkpointing that is also there so wherever you are want to deploy it so these are the you know all is theory which i think once you had gone through the uh, above videos and once you had gone through the above content which i already had explained which actually requires more of the coding then i think the below part will be you know you will actually uh, you will actually uh, understand it in a better way that what actually it wants to tell and other stuff so I think uh, from my side spark streaming is done but if you guys have uh, yeah last but not the least you remember that I told you that uh, you can have the advanced receivers uh, which you had you can create and which actually will have integration with Kafka, Loom, Kinesis, custom receivers and other stuff remember and we told you about how you can create a Twitter receiver as well uh, we had done that so I'll show you the example as well. So one of the example was Twitter powerful tags in which we were we created a receiver, but that receiver was a Twitter receiver. So nothing but uh, the filters and uh, Spark seems uh, so properties were set and the filters were there. And then what did we do? We did nothing. Flat mapped it to accordingly, looked to, to the hash, and then the same things. You know, that's it. So we haven't done like uh, so. It's very simple if you can see. That's what I'm trying to say. That with these things 
you can actually get to know what actually you know you can perform your activities and you can perform your things over here and streaming is not that difficult i have never worked on storm i had only worked in spark i'm working on spark at the moment and go through it and uh, look into the flume integration part look into the kafka integration part and see what is the best way you know in flume also you can have a two way through which you can receive the data and in kafka also there's a push and there's a pull based look into it detail i'll also explain it in uh, if possible i'll also explain how to get things done and uh, if possible i'll also have a demo on the same but uh, look into it and kindly provide your feedback on the streaming part i'll be waiting for that and uh, if possible we'll try to explore new things as well i thank you guys i think with this the whole playlist is over and uh, keep watching this channel we are bringing lots and lots of things for you keep uh, watching this channel keep uh, commenting giving us comments and likes and whatever even dislikes even that that will actually improve us with that i'll wrap this up Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.